Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we continued Stone Tower Temple, and now we're going to complete this episode, hopefully. And I see some times going up onto this chest because I need to get onto the chest really quickly and stuff. So, how are you guys doing today? Oh my god, it's crazy, guys. Oh my god. Look at me. Oh, oh, oh okay, crap. Um, yeah, so I, I, I hit the wrong freaking chest, so we have to go over to where Tattle is. Let's go over there and hit where she is, or her, or him, or whatnot, in the butt. And anyways, we can actually come over here to not where the that freaking laser guy is, because he's mean. We actually go all, all the way over to this key and go inside of it, because that's what we need to do right now. So yeah, we, we, we can actually fight one of these guys that we fought last time. Um, we have to take out our, um, you know, our, uh, light arrows to kill them again, because that's what we need to do first. And be like, oh, night of the second day, thank you for telling me that, sir. Um, this guy's actually a little bit more difficult than last time, because he will actually be like, hey, there's an edge, I'm gonna throw you off. Because last time, remember how we fought him last time, and then, um, um, he couldn't really do anything, because there wasn't anything there to, you know, hit us off the edge and stuff, because there was actually, like, a fence. A fence for the dogs, not really, because you have to go pee outside. But then we go, lay down, dog, you dog, lay down, you dog. But we can actually come over here and actually pick up this, um, thing. I wonder what it is. Um, I think someone said it a few episodes ago. I don't remember. <laughs> and we get the giant's mask within the mind of a giant, and yeah. So we will see what that does later on. But now we have to actually turn into... Oh my god, we almost have all the masks already, guys. We only need one more until we complete it out. And, but, um, that last mask on the bottom right will be for the very end of the thingy thing. You know what I'm saying? Not really. You haven't seen it yet. I'm not spoiling anything like Red Bender Game. But anyways, we can actually, um, hit this with our, hmm. What do I need to hit it with? This room is very really scary because you have to have, like, all these things. But let's take out our, uh, light arrows. Let's shoot it right in the face. And it'll actually, uh, make the, uh, a chest appear at the very top, which we can use later on. After we defeat the dungeon because I'm not going to get the last few stray fairies until after I beat it because you have to switch it around again. And you're like, no, I don't want to anymore. But, but yeah, we actually hit this one right here. It's pretty nice how they have this right here and how they made it uh, dripped apart and stuff. But we, but we can actually hit this. Oh, crap. Get in my face. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You're a jerk. But we can actually hit this thing right here and actually try to figure out what the heck we're supposed to do and jump right into this place. And look, it's the boss door key. What are you doing? Uh. But yeah, we can actually come out of here and do a spin attack. Spin attack, spin attack. Let's go over here and see what's over here because I really want to see what's over here. And if not, then I'd be kind of mean. There's just flying pots over everywhere. There's pots everywhere. Mr. Pots, what are you doing, Mr. Pots? Mr. Pots, too sweet. Too sweet, too sweet. I messed it up really badly. I'm sorry that I messed it up, but eventually we'll be able to figure it out in the, in the specific times of what your face is talking about. So what we can do is actually do a backflip right into the thing. You know, I don't really have to do a backflip into there, but look, there's a chest. It's that one chest that we got a few a few, a few um, episodes ago and stuff. But anyways, we can just do a backflip into there, and there, it's the ball. I ruined it. God dang it. I ruined it. You ruined it. And um, here is the, uh, the boss of the temple. Uh, there's actually two of them. Twin mold. Oh my god, they're twins. <laughs> no, really. But anyways, um, these guys are like what what uh, people face in A Link to the Past on the second uh, palace when they have like those rocks come out of it, but it's not really rocks because... Okay, let's put on the stone mask. And, oh, what the heck? <laughs> we grow big. I'm a big boy now. Yes. So this boss is really easy because they don't really hurt you at all. And it just frame skips all the time because it's slow. It's so slow. But what I like to do is actually just try to go for the, um, what is it called? The, uh, tails or the face. Because that's the only way you can kill them. And, uh, don't go out too far because then you'll be able to go through the floor. And if you do that, you have to go through the whole dungeon again. But not really, uh, you don't have to get all the rest of the stuff. You just have to go to where the, um... Where the big door is. The big door is at the door this and stuff. So we can continue on shooting these guys because they're really mean. And oh my god. Oh my god, it's Godzilla. It's Godzilla. Oh, Godzilla. <laughs> That'd be weird. It's like, you see Link going around Japan. It's like, hey, hey, you know where Zelda is? I don't know where Zelda is at because I'm big. And I, I, I think she's on my shoe because I think I stepped on her. And if that was bad, then you'd been like, oh no, Link. You have to watch where you're going sometimes. Well, you know what? I sneak sometimes. Okay, but, um, we can continue hitting these guys. And actually hit him right in the face and he dies. He dies right in the faces of the time. He's very, he's very, very bad. If you really, okay, whatever. So, yeah, he dies. 
that's one of them down. That's one of them down. And there's actually one more to go, which is not that one. Because he died into the grass. What? It's a sand. You make freaking glass out of it. Don't you play Minecraft? Okay, so we uh, we can actually uh, continue trying to kill, kill this guy. Because I don't think we actually killed uh, this guy at all. Because we only killed his brother. His brodo. We killed his brodo. It was very mean. But um, as you can see, my health hasn't gone down at all that much at, 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 at all. Because, you know, I'm super powered Link. He's super powered. Look at his super poweriness. If, if he's a giant, what does that make his uh, shoe size? Does it make his shoe size like two stories? If it was really two stories, would you think that he would be able to put on Shaq's shoes? Or, or maybe would his shoes fit his whole face and body? Because Shaq's shoes are like 3,000 feet. <laughs> okay, so we can try to kill this guy for once and for all. And actually be like, hey man, you need to stop being a worm and come over here because I'm sick and tired of you. I'm a, I, I'm a giant. Oh my god. And we killed the other one. And what did we get for this uh, feat that we did? And he explodes into the days of the time that he tries to, you know, try to kill us and stuff. So we can actually see him die for the second time because they're twins. And actually come all over here to the platform. Don't walk away from the platform because then you'll die. And actually turn into a small Link again. He's small, yeah. And actually come over here and watch out for the... Uh, I th I is there a quicksand here? I don't even know. I haven't tried that. You got a we so we got um ba -ba -ba -ba, 18 hearts and we actually got the twin molds remains. The we only got one of them though. And send the spirit and stuff in the twin mold. Yeah. So we got the last freaking remains from our you know our past of these freaking people. And now we get to see another cutscene of with the bubbles. The bubbles are kind of trying to kill me and stuff. That's pretty weird. So we actually try to see what Link is doing. Hello there, Link. I see you. And if you would try to say that, well, we helped you. What can we do? That's all we can do. Okay. Caldas. That's what he's saying. Okay. I wonder what it is. I wonder what these people are doing without being told and understand about that exchange. They're going to have to call the clock tower to do something about him, right? All right, all right. What? Their voices said. You don't want to. Yes, I do. Thank you. Oh my god, they're coming right after me. Oh my god, if I tried talking like that the whole episode, that'd be horrible, wouldn't it? I know, thank you. Forgive you. <laughs> Your friend. This was over dramatic, wasn't it? Forgive your, I'll give her a friend. What is that? Forgive her friend. What? What friend? Show me what a friend this is. Cause I don't see no friends in the friendliness and friends. See, guys, actually, you can see what's going on because look, nothing really has changed. That's pretty sweet. And look, it's that one guy. I don't know yet. It's just a cloud. It's like that cloud from Super Mario RPG when it tries to kill you in the desert. Oh my God! And it's like a smog face. Looks like a fart. Okay, so blast off into the sky. It's kind of like Power Rangers when they try to go to Zordon's house. Oh my god, and Alphas. Oh my god. Okay, so actually, it um, what this actually does is it actually gets rid of all the evil spirits around the, uh, the Akana, the canyon and stuff. So that's, that's what really what we really needed to do for this area. Just clear out all the evil demons and stuff and be like, hey, you don't belong here anymore. This is what you're supposed to do. Because people always try to, you know, be evil and stuff. That doesn't really work out. So we can actually come over here and actually uh, try, um, go back up to, uh, what is it called? A stone tower temple because we actually have a few more of those um, uh, blah, 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 thingies that are called, you know, stray fairies. Because we need like three more, I think. But we have to turn back uh, stone tower back to its normal side again. And if we didn't do that in the first place, then we would have been able to get them. And then we have to do it uh, like four more thousand times. They're like, no, what are you doing? I don't know anymore. But actually, we can come over here now and actually be like, hey. I want you to turn me around. You spin my head right around, right around. When you go down, maybe when you go down. So yeah, we have to fall down again because for some reason when we uh, do that, it'll be like, hey, you know, we remember that you that you made this differently, so you will be able to put you vice versa and stuff again. So what we need to do now is actually turn back this thing again so we actually fall down right into the platform. And I'll actually show you guys an easier way to get over to Stone Tower Temple with just using one, two songs. Okie dokie. So yeah, what we need to do is actually go into this, uh, you know, this, um, what is it called? A switch? And, and actually play the, uh, Elegy of Emptiness. 
once and make our linky face person be like, hey, you need to stay here, sir. I'll be back with some candy. Not really, because that's kind of weird if you ask me. So we can actually do that and actually put this uh, link guy right onto the right onto the switch actually go over to here where this platform is and play it again and what it would actually do is actually uh make us go all the way over to where that uh where the temple is having an o face and it'll actually be like hey you were here the whole time and you have to play it three times to walk across here so it's actually pretty cool how they do this because you can actually skip like three more of these songs and actually save a lot more time because look he just swims over there and it takes a while for the camera to get noticed too, so if you try to walk off really fast, it'd be like, Hey, you don't need to do that, sir. So what we need to do now is actually come in back in here and get the little final three stray fairies. So let's come all the way over here, not the literally thingy, okay? Don't get your head all together. Actually hit this thing, and we, we can actually get another stray fairy, which is our 13th one. So we need two more to go, and actually go- uh, Oh my god! Why would you do that? So let's try to climb up this ladder. The ladder's climbing down. I don't want you to do that anymore. No, 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 no! <laughs> that was a freaking um, delayed reaction. So let's try to kill this guy really quick because he's a jerk. And hopefully we can kill him really fast. Thank you so much for thank you so much for dying. Please come again. You can't come again. Ha <laughs> ha. Machine gun of laughter. <laughs> Not really, Peter Griffin. Okay, so we can actually come over here and actually go through this door. And actually go to uh, the light room, the mirror room again, like where we were beforehand. So there's actually something we need to do over here. Because what we actually need to do is jump over here before this mouse guy comes in and tries to kill us because he's a meanie face. Let's just turn to the Zora person again and swim all the way down to where we can get the next straight fairy. So hopefully I can find it this time. I think I can. I think. Oh, it's right. It's, it's right here. Dude, get out of Dude, what the what the what the what the what the what the what the. Oh my god, stop wall humping. You don't need a wall hump, you wall hump. God, you're not uh, freaking what? Okay. Straight fair, you got the 14th one, you need one more to go. We freaking wall humper. Wall humper, wall humper. You're gonna wall hump all day. Yeah, wall humper, wall humper. Yes, you are a wall humper, wall humper. Brought to you by CBS. No, <laughs> I'm joking. CBS doesn't do that stuff. Thank you for telling me. But anyways, we can actually come over here now and actually get to the last straight fairy, which is all the way over here. And don't fight those guys again that look like Gorons, because they're mean and try to roll right into here. So we can actually turn back into a, a what is it called? I forget what it's called. I think it's called something that's called a thingy. And if it's right, then you would think so. That's kind of funny how they do Oh, what the heck are you doing? Uh, dude, Deku Lang doesn't like the larva. It's not really nice of you to say that, sir. So we can actually come over here and actually, uh... So fly all the way across here. I almost said swim again. Why do I say swim? And then when I don't say swim, I say fly. When I'm actually swimming, I say fly. So it's like, McFly! McFly! What are you doing, McFly? Oh my god. So we can actually come over here now and actually try to go onto this platform right here. Hopefully we can get to it. I think so. Oh my god! Why would you do that? Oh, let's just go into the larva to try to get back up to the top again. So we're at the top again. Let's try to go all the way over to the where we're supposed to go in the first place. Because I think we need to go there. And that's what we need to do to get to the final area. Which is where the final straight fairy is. And yeah, that's what I say sometimes. Okay, so let's uh, try to do this again. Hopefully we have enough turn speed to do this. Because you need to, you need to be very accurate on this to be actually make it over there, there beforehand. And it's really kind of funny how I did this before. The first try. And then I just freaking died. Why did you die? Oh my god. Lava. Lava. You stupid larva. God, let's try this again. Don't just fly off there like you did before. You need to go on here. Here is our uh, prize plan for you. This is called the fly shoe. That's what you need to do. It's a fly shoe. With the fly shoe, you can be able to fly for an infinite amount of heights. It's not the hover boot. This is copyright reasons for that. But anyways, you can just fly across here and actually be able to go through this hole. The hole of the holiness. Hey, have you guys ever watched uh, the holes of the movie with Shia LaBeouf? That was a really good movie, wasn't it? Shia LaBeouf? Yeah, that was like one of his first movies. That was awesome because those holes and I and I read that book because yeah. <laughs> so we can actually come over here now and actually go through this door because the doors are the door door and the doorness. And look, here's where we were before. And all we have to do now is hop down here and actually go into this chest, which we used to get up to the very top where we we're supposed to go in the first place. And we got the show me. We got the last stray fairy. So we need to go take that yellow stray fairy to the yellow prostitute, which kind of looks like Pikachu. Not really, because Pikachu's not a prostitute. And I don't think Pikachu would be on the corner. Maybe. Maybe in the future, once Pokemon gets a little old. I don't even know. But, you know, Pikachus need freaking money too, you know, okay? Because if Pikachu doesn't have money, then what would they do? Well, how would they buy freaking Thundershock? How would they buy freaking TMs? How would they buy Pokeballs? Well, I, I, I know they have Pokeballs already, but they need ones that are external, thank you very much. 
Okay, so we actually come over here and actually uh, fly in with a song of soaring all the way down to um, the bottom of uh, Ikana Canyon and actually go over to where the, uh, you know, the fairy prostitute is. Oh, yeah. Thank you for telling me. And then, yeah, we can fly all the way over here now and not swim because I'm not snorkeling sometimes. And actually um, put on our uh, bunny hood because it didn't take forever to walk across there. And if you ask me, that's kind of bad. So we actually turn to our bunny hood. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't you know. So we can actually come over here now and actually go through this uh, tunnel, which will actually lead us to where we're supposed to go, which is the Great Fairy Fountain or Miss Prostitute. Hello there. I'm taking off my bunny hood so I won't show it in my thingy. Oh, yeah. Put your thing in my thing with the prostitute with the what? <laughs> okay, so here's the pro here's the pr here is the fourth and final prostitute which she will give us something special. What are you going to give me? Oh, compassionate young one, I'm the great fairy of Ka. What? I have broken the shadow of back to normal. As you have the fairy sword. What? We're getting the fairy sword? Oh yeah. You got the fairy sword, set it to use with C, edge with the fairy sword of Brattle Brattle Blades. It has freaking roses on it, black roses. Come back here anytime. Thank you very much, yellow prostitute. Yeah, I, I, I really like you. So what this actually does, guys, it's actually a C button uh, item, which you can use at any time. And you can actually, you know, hit it with that and stuff. It's really kind of cool. And you, can, and you can actually do a spin attack, I think, too. I'm not, I don't remember, but it's actually pretty cool how they do this, because you can actually, um, oh yeah, you can do like, double freaking moves with it and stuff, it's really kind of cool. So guys, in the next episode, we will, uh, go to, we, we, we will get the final mask, and we will be able to go and fight Skull Kid for the final time, and yeah, and actually get the final heart piece, the, the, the final heart piece of the game. So, I uh, six times, kill this guy with our scene attack with the fairy sword thing, flex video, give, blah. Oh my god, it's a blah. Sorry, blah, blah, 935211. And <laughs> if you like this video, please give a thumbs up, like me, and with simple videos, please grab my notification top of the video. I see you times saving, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. See you next episode.